Today, me and Jordy are going to be doing a tiny roller coaster build challenge. But little does Jordy know that I'm going to be using cheats to build this epic tiny roller coaster. And with that, let's get into the video. It, huh? Creeper? Oh my gosh! Ah! Hey, Jordy. Hey, Tora. Today's challenge is going to be a tiny challenge. And look how cool these tiny globes are. And why don't we go ahead and jump inside to check it out? All right. Oh my gosh, we are so tiny. That's right, Jordy. We are so tiny. So for today's challenge, we're going to have to build our roller coasters in these tiny globes. And uh, we only have 15 minutes to complete our build. So uh, good luck figuring out how to get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's go, go, go. And now that we're over on my side, I actually need to go ahead and head on over to the globe tab and pick out a globe that I want to use for my roller coasters. And oh my gosh, look at how many different globes there are to choose from. These globes are so cool. But I think the one I want to use is actually this lime green globe because it looks the most like grass and so what we can do is go right here and put down this globe just like that and then we can go ahead and hop on the inside and yeah we are literally so little now this is so funny but we don't have much time so let's get started on our roller coaster and as always when building a roller coaster the very first thing you need to add is a queue line and so the very first thing we can do to build our queue line is actually set a floor over this grass and we can do that by selecting these two positions and then using some cheats we can spawn in the floor just like that so now we have a really good base, but now we just need to build up the walls to our queue line. And uh, I think oak logs is definitely a good choice for these walls. So using commands, we can spawn in the walls just like that. And these stripped oak wood looks so beautiful. And now by adding a roof, the building for our queue line should be complete. And our roller coaster is going to start over here on this side. So we can break a little hole right there for where the entrance to our roller coaster is going to be. And now we need to get started on the actual queue line. And to build the queue line, what we're going to do is use these warped fences just like this because I think the warp fences look super cool. Then using these fences, we can just place them all around our building to make the queue line just like this so that people have a place to wait in line. And now just like that, all of our fences are placed to make our queue line. But looking at this, this is way too boring and simple. So let's turn this into a bit of a challenge. And the way we can turn this into a challenge is actually by turning this into a queue line maze. So what we can do is place and destroy some extra fences that are gonna make this a little harder for Jordy to try and navigate. And uh, he's gonna have to walk Watch out for dead ends and uh, try his best to figure out how to get to the end because this queue line maze is going to be super confusing. And just like that, our maze should be complete, but actually the way it's set up right now, there is no way to escape. And I did that intentionally because I kind of want to trick Jordy in this maze. So right now when Jordy walks in, he's going to see the exit right there and he's probably just going to run this way and try to get all the way to the end. But as he'll figure out pretty quickly, it all just leads to a dead end. And there's actually no way that connects to that exit. So what we can do is come all the way to the furthest corner right here and put down a piston with a button. So now if Jordy actually wants to make it to the end, what he has to do is stand on this piston, push the button, and get on top of the fences just like this. Then he'll be able to drop down and get to the rest of my roller coaster build. And now what we can do to connect our builds is put down a command block right here with some pressure plates just like that. And then really quickly, we need to leave our globe just like that. Then find the exit, which is actually going to be on this side right here. Look how small that is. That's so funny. And we go ahead and put down the next platform that's going to have the first part of our roller coaster. So now that we have our two globes aligned just like that, we go back into our queue line just like this. Then in this command block right here, put a super special command. And with this command right here, it should teleport us to the next part of our roller coaster build. So let's just step on the pressure plate. And yes, that worked perfectly. Now there is a little bit of a weirdness where you can't see the other parts of the roller coaster build, but that's totally okay because that way Jordy won't get spoiled to what the next part is. So now that we're in here, we can actually be in building our roller coaster and i want my roller coaster to as it progresses to get harder and scarier for jordy so this very first part of my roller coaster is actually going to be pretty simple and not too scary some might even call this portion the little kid portion and to signify that i'm gonna make it out of pink so that jordy thinks i'm calling him a little pig so what we can do is just start by building out some pink blocks just like this that are going to be the track for our roller coaster and uh we're gonna make this one pretty simple so maybe we'll have it come up just like this and then it could curve here and then maybe do another bed and then curve this way yeah that should be super cool and then what if it even dropped right here that would be super 
super fun. Okay, so we're gonna make it drop down just like this and do a little fall. And oh, that's awkward. I almost made it so that it didn't fall in the right spot. That would have been super embarrassing. So let's fix that really quick. And then maybe it could come this way and it'd be super cool if you went under a lava tunnel. And the way we can build a lava tunnel is by putting some glass just like this and then capping the ends just like that and then making sure the lava only falls into these holes right here. And now I think everything is safe with that glass. So what we can do is go ahead and grab ourselves some lava just like this and place it on the top and let's see if that all flows in the right spot. And uh, it seems to be working good so far. Yeah, I think this is gonna work great. So now we have a lava tunnel, which is super fun. And I think the very last thing we need to do is just connect our roller coaster to this end right here. So now all we need to do is grab our rails and actually make it so you can actually ride this roller coaster. And what we can do to start our roller coaster is place a slanted powered rail just like that. Then we can build up a block right there. And then on top of this block, we'd actually go ahead and put down a button. And now when we press that button, it actually powers this, which is perfect. So we can break that block there and then continue this this way. Now we need to place a normal rail right here so that the track can actually turn. And then we'll just do these power rails all the way around the rest of the track. And here's where the fun part, the drop off spot, which is going to be super fun. So we'll do all power rails right there. There. And then we can put some more right here, just like this. And now, just like that, our very first roller coaster ride should be complete. So, what we can do is put a chest right here. Then, on top, we can fill it up with some mine carts. And, uh, why don't we go ahead and give this thing a try to make sure it actually works? So, we can hop in our mine cart and push the button. And let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, we're going. And we got the drop. And oh my gosh, that was so cool. And yeah, that lava tunnel was super scary. I didn't know if I was going to get burnt or not. So, I'm glad I survived. And now, this first roller coaster ride is almost complete complete, but I want to add one more detail. And I made the track pink for Jordy, so I think that last detail I want to add is actually a pig sculpture. And I'm going to build a pig sculpture because pigs are Jordy's favorite animal, so I know he'll love to see a pig sculpture in here. And for that, we have to make a little body just like this. Yeah, that should work just okay. And then we can build this up just like that. And now the pig body is complete, but we do need to give him a little tail just like that. And then now we can just go ahead and build the head. And just like that, the head should be complete. Yeah, this pig is looking so cute right now. So we can give him some ears. And uh, okay, the pig ears are on there. He kind of looks more like a hamster right now, which is not good. So let's give him a little bit of a snout just like that. And now we can actually go ahead and give him his eyes. And for his eyes, what we're gonna do is put a white wool right here and then a black wool just like that. Then we can do the same on that side. So now it looks like he's kind of looking over towards Jordy's side. And yeah, that is literally so funny. This pig is perfect. I think Jordy's definitely gonna love the extra touch of this pig statue. But now that we finished our first roller coaster, I actually want to go mess with Jordy. And to mess with Jordy, I have the perfect plan. So what I can actually do to mess with Jordy is if I go to my morph menu right here, I can morph myself into an adorable pig. But what's going to happen this time is when Jordy lets me into his roller coaster build because I'm a cute pig and Jordy can't resist letting cute pigs into his builds, then I'm going to say that I feel sick and morph into one of these super scary Zoglins. And then while I'm a Zoglin, Jordy's going to get super scared and I bet he'll run away and we'll be able to mess with this build however we like. So let's turn back into a pig and go on over to Jordy's side. So all we need to do is turn this corner and oh my gosh, there's Jordy's name tag right there. This is literally perfect. Okay, here we go. We gotta act like a pig and uh, uh, oink, oink, oink. Uh, what is, oh my gosh, it's such a cute pig. Uh, what are you oink. doing here? Uh, oink. You don't feel so good? Oink. That's not good. Well, why don't you come on into my build so I can help you? Oink, oink. All right, piggy. Come on, let's go up here. Oink. Uh, oink. What the heck? Oink. What is happening? Oink. Ah. <laughs> oink. 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 Ah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that literally worked so perfect. Jordy got so scared we turned into a Zoglin. So now we can morph back into ourselves just like that. And let's figure out how to mess with Jordy's build. And oh my gosh, Jordy's build actually looks pretty cool so far. He's got a little roller coaster right here. And uh, wait a minute, does the roller coaster loop around and drop you into this pig pen? That's pretty funny. And what we could actually do to mess with this is change all of Jordy's rails into something else. And because Jordy's a bit of a noob, I don't even know if he would realize. What we can do is use the command slash slash replace near 16 powered rails with activator rails just like that. And now all these powered rails have become activator rails. And this means Jordy's roller coaster is just not gonna work anymore, which is gonna be so funny. And because these activator rails look kind of like powered rails, I bet Jordy won't even notice and be so confused why his roller coaster doesn't work anymore. 
And uh, the very last thing we can do to mess with Jordy is why don't we replace all of these pigs he has in here with the Zoglins? Now, I'm not a monster and I can't kill all of Jordy's pigs, so I'm gonna use this command to teleport them all to me just like that. And we're gonna hide all of his pigs he put in this little box right here. So then now in this pen right here, we can actually just go ahead and spawn a bunch of these Zoglins and Jordy's gonna think all of his pigs turned into Zoglins. That is so funny. And now that we mess with Jordy, why don't we quickly head back over to our side? And oh my gosh, there's Jordy right there hiding. That is so funny. He's probably so scared. Why are strange monsters always coming for me during these build challenges? Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Jordy was so scared and sad. Well, anyways, let's go back to our side and finish our roller coaster build. So now that we're back in our roller coaster build, what we can actually do is come all the way over here to the pig's tail and then put a button on the pig's tail just like that. Then if we push this button, it'll actually take us to the next stage. And just like that, we're at the next stage. And this time I made the floor out of blue because I think this blue looks super cool and I wanted to switch it up a little. So now we can get started on our second roller coaster, which is actually going to be a quiz roller coaster challenge. So what I went ahead and did is made a little building right here at the entrance of this stage. And as you can tell, there are two different paths that Jordy's gonna be able to take. So what we can do is put down a block right here and a block right there with a power rail on top, just like that. And now we can put buttons on both these sides right here, just like this. So what Jordy's gonna have to do is put down a minecart on one of these paths to choose the side that he wants to go. And he's gonna have to choose which path he wants to go in by looking at the signs that are gonna be right here on the wall. So we can grab some signs just like this and put down the first question. And the first question is going to be, are you subscribed to Tora? So on this side, we can put down the answer no with a bunch of question marks because why the heck would you not be subscribed to Tora? And then on this side, we can go ahead and put down the answer yes in all caps because that's actually going to be the correct answer. And if Jordy says no, he's gonna come this way down this path and this path is actually going to lead to lava. So yeah, are you subscribed to Tora? Because if you're not, your path is gonna lead to lava. So definitely hit that subscribe button. And if he answers that he is subscribed to Tora, he'll come this way, which will take him to the next quiz. So now the very last time is to put a chest with a minecart, just like that. And this first question is done. So now we can come over here and get started on our next question. And the next question is going to be, have you liked the video? And if Jordy says no with a bunch of question marks, because why would he not have liked the video? He'll go down this side, which is actually going to lead to some more lava. But if Jordy has liked the video, he'll go down this side, which is yes, and that's gonna take him to the last question. So now we can just go ahead and add our minecart rails just like this. And now, just like that, our second question is complete. So let's get started with the very last question. And the very last question is actually gonna be, who is more powerful in the Skibbity Toilet universe? So on this side, we can put down the Cameraman Alliance. And on this side right here, we'll put down the Skibbity Toilet Army. So Joyce had to pick which one's more powerful in the Skibbity Toilet universe. And make sure to let me know down in the comments below which one you think is more powerful. And if you wanna see what the correct answer is, you're actually gonna have to watch till the end of the video. And now that our roller coaster quiz challenge is complete. I actually want to mess with Jordy one more time. And to mess with Jordy, I have the perfect plan. So what I can actually do is use this morph menu one more time and go all the way down here to the super cute little puffer fish. And yeah, look how small I am. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. And what I can do is when I'm a super small puffer fish is I'll actually be able to sneak around to Jordy's side. And because I'm so small, I should be able to sneak over without getting spotted. So let's head on over to Jordy's side. And uh, just in case Jordy accidentally spots me, I'm gonna have these grass blocks that I can hide behind uh, in case he almost sees me. So let's peek around this corner and see if we see Jordy. And uh, what the heck is happening? Is Jordy adding some big decorations to his little roller coaster build? That's kind of cool. Well, anyways, we need to be super sneaky here. And, oh my gosh, look at literally only my eyes are poking through. And yeah, there's gonna be no way that Jordy sees us. So I'm slowly just gonna creep this way. And uh, oh my gosh, oh no, this is getting, oh my gosh, he almost looked. Okay, that's fine. We're just hide behind this dirt block. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, this totally isn't suspicious at all. Okay, there's a problem. I'm gonna need to find a way to get Jordy away from his roller coaster build so that we can go inside and mess with them. And I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that. But actually, I think I have a plan. What I can actually do is super quickly put down this anvil just like that and throw flame on this bow. So now what I can do is right next to this block really quickly put a TNT just like that. And then now we need to quickly run all the way over here without Jordy seeing and uh, place another block. Okay. 
I think we're good. Jordy hopefully doesn't see that TNT. And now what we can do is take our bow and just shoot it at that TNT and it will make an explosion that Jordy will be super confused about and uh, hopefully he'll run all the way over there and we'll be able to get into his roller coaster. So uh, here goes nothing. Let's shoot the TNT and oh, okay. Nope, that's super awkward. I totally missed. All right, let's try again. And yes, I hit it. Okay, this is perfect. Here we go. And oh, what the heck was that? Oh my gosh, was that a meteorite? That was literally perfect. Okay, now we gotta pick one of Jordy's roller coaster builds to go in. And both these are so cool, but uh, let's go in this ice one. And oh my gosh, yeah, we totally made it into Jordy's build. Super easy. That was awesome. So now let's go ahead and morph back into ourselves just like this. And wow, Jordy built an ice parkour around this ice roller coaster. This is sweet. Yeah, I think this looks way too cool for our build challenge. So I think we're gonna have to use some more cheats to make this look way worse. And using the same command we used earlier, I should be able to just replace all this packed ice with dirt just like that. And now it looks so much worse because it's made out of dirt. That's so funny. And now this parkour that was ice parkour should be way easier too. But this parkour still looks pretty hard. So what I can actually do is break through right here and make a little door right here that hopefully Jordy won't notice. And then on this back side where hopefully Jordy won't wander to, we can go ahead and put some ladders just like this that we can sneak up to to get to the top of Jordy roller coaster and now we should be able to bypass all that parkour which is awesome so now that we messed with jordy's build let's head on back over to our side since we only have a little bit of time left and uh i better make sure i transform back into the parmer fish so that jordy doesn't see me all right here we go and we're gonna escape out just like that oh my gosh okay we're out and uh oh jordy's right there oh no this is not good okay we're gonna sneak all the way back to our side well it does look like jordy might have gone afk so i think we could just run all the way back to our side and he won't see us and uh uh, Jordy, Jordy. Okay, yeah, no, Jordy is definitely not here. And uh, now that I think about it, because Jordy's not here, we probably could just like, oh, uh, what? <laughs> oh my gosh, we could totally just beat the crap out of Jordy because he's not even here. All right, well, that should be enough. Let's head on back over to our side and finish our build. So now that we're back on our side, we're going to go ahead and add our very last level, which is going to be on top of this block right here. We're going to have to pick out a cool globe to build on top of. And since it's the very last level, why don't we make it out of my favorite color, which is orange? So we can put it right there just like that. And now let's head on inside. So what I want to do for this last stage is actually make this last roller coaster the scariest and the most fun. So to do that, what we're going to do is build off a little platform from the entrance just like this. And then I want to make this roller coaster go as high as we can get it to go. So we'll build up stairs just like this that our roller coaster track will follow. And now we can keep on coming up this way just like that. And this is as high as we can get with it. So that is perfect. So now it's going to come over this way. And while it's at the top here, I want to add a note block run. And note block runs are super fun because they make a ton of really... And a note block run is really fun because they make a lot of really good music. So we can just snake our roller coaster track around just like this. And then we can just keep looping this as much as it will go. And yeah, that should be perfect. Now using this white wool, we can put this on the outsides of our track just like this. And you might be super confused at why we're putting white wool on the outside of our track, but I'll explain that in just a second. So we can just wrap this all the way around with our track just like this and yeah that's perfect and the reason i use this white wool so i can replace it all with cheats to make building this way easier so the first command we're going to use is slash slash replace white wool with white wool with note blocks just like that which is going to fill in all of our note blocks now the sound a note block makes is determined by the block that's underneath it so using this super special command right here this should replace all of our white wool with a bunch of random blocks that will make a ton of really cool noises for our note blocks so let's just hit enter and oh my gosh, yeah, filled it in with all these random blocks that should work perfectly. So now what we can do is fill in all this track with detector rails just like this. And yeah, I cannot wait to hear how all of this sounds. So if you want to hear how all of this sounds, make sure to watch till the end of the video. Now, after you get to the very top right here, we're actually going to make a drop, which is going to come this way just like this. So we'll fill in that drop with some glass blocks. So then after dropping, the track's going to come this way just like this. Then it's going to come around all the way over here, then turn one more time and go into a straightaway just like this and then make one more big turn right here just like this and for this part i actually want to make an underwater section so what we could do is fill all of this track in with glass just like this to make sure it's protected from the water and so now we got all this glass in and all the glass is protecting our rails what we can do is use this command to fill this all with water and just like that's gonna fill it all with water and oh my gosh look at how cool this is yeah this is awesome and if we just go ahead and drop 
up down here. We can make sure that it all worked. And yeah, this all looks cleared out from water, which is perfect. So we'll be able to put all of our rails in here. No problem. And then our minecart track can actually just pop out right here on this side, just like that. So now we'll just go ahead and make one more drop right here, just like this. And this is actually going to be the finale of the track. So we're going to make the track follow all the way along this way, just like this. Then make it come back this way. And then now we just need to connect it at the very end right here. And for our very last stage, what we can actually do is go ahead and make this pink firework star just like that. Then go ahead and add some gunpowder and some paper and this pink firework to make a pink firework just like that. And then with these dispensers, we can put one down just like that and fill it up with these firework stars. And now we can just copy this dispenser and place a bunch of them all along this track. And as you can see, because I copied it, all of these dispensers have the fireworks in them. So now we're just going to fill up our track just like this with all of these dispensers. So when Jordy's riding along this track, it's actually going to just shoot off a bunch of fireworks for the grand finale. So now we can just put all of the detector rails right here, just like this. And we'll just have to connect it with some normal rails in the corners, just like that. And now this grand finale portion should be finished. So now I'm just going to go in and fill in the rest of the rails in our build. And then our roller coaster side should be complete. And with those last finishing touches, our roller coaster build should be complete. And that's literally perfect timing because the timer just ended. So let's head on back over to Jordy's side and check out his finished build. Hey, Jordy. Hey, Tora. Are you ready to show me your finished build? Yeah, I'm so ready. And my build is looking so good. Uh, all right, well, let's check it out. And uh, what what is going on here, Jordy? There's a lot to take in right now. Well, I just wanted to make it look pretty, but I have three roller coasters. I have this one, and then I have this one, and this one. Wow, Jordy, they're pretty cool. And is this even a roller coaster track going around your roller coasters? That's pretty funny. Yeah, that's right. But which one do you want to see first? Well, Jordy, I think that we should go into uh, this one in the corner here first. All right, let's go. And oh my gosh, that minecart rail on the outside looks so cool when you're inside. All right, Jordy, well, where does this roller coaster start? All right, Tor, well, if you want to start on my roller coaster, you got to start right here and just put down a minecart. Uh, why Wait. is that minecart dancing? That's super weird. Well, uh, let me go ahead and put my minecart down. What? Mine's dancing why too, Jordy. Why are they Jordy? dancing? Well, can we hop on them at least? No, it won't even let me ride it. Uh, Tora, I think it's broken. I don't know what happened. Uh, yeah, Jordy, your roller coaster ride is kind of dysfunctional. Well, uh, do you want to just, like, run the course and show it to me? All right, well, I guess I'll just show you the finale. So if you want to just follow me right up here. All right, and what's the finale, Jordy? The finale is you fall into the cutest pigs ever. Look. Oh, my gosh, let's see. And what? Jordy! Oh my what gosh, the? Jordy! Those are not cute pigs! Those are Zoglins in there! How did Zoglins switch with my pigs? Oh, that sick pig must have infected my other pigs. Oh my gosh, Jordy, that's so funny. What are you talking about a sick pig? That's weird. But anyways, I might have to deduct some points for this build because uh, it didn't even work. And then it seems like you even tried to kill me if I were to fall in there. And whatever, let's go on to my next build. Okay, well, my next build's way better, so follow me on to my next build. All right, let's check it out. All right, let's go into this orange one, Ooh, which okay. is Torah themed. I do love the color orange, so let's see. Alrighty, so just grab a minecart whenever you're ready and hop on the track. All right, I'll go ahead and, uh, Jordy, why don't you go ahead and show me how it's done? All right, and this one should actually work. Let's see. All right, and oh my gosh, yeah. okay, you go up and... Uh, oh, ah. wow, that was cool. Yeah, it's so much fun. But, uh, Jordy, when do you stop? And then uh, say, I'm getting so wait. dizzy. I don't know when to stop. Wait, how do I get off? I'm getting so dizzy. Oh Do my I gosh, have? Jordy, you're totally stuck on there in an endless Help loop. Me. Uh, I don't know if I should save you. Maybe I'll let you go around a couple more times. All right, whatever. I'll help you out, Jordy. I should be able to break that, and uh, you should be good. All right, well, thank you, Tora. That was really scary. Well, uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't ride that one, but maybe if I fix it by putting this right here, I should be able to ride it without getting stuck on an endless loop. And, uh, okay, you go all the way up, and, uh, wow, okay, yeah, Jordy, that was actually pretty cool. Yeah, so did you like my build? Uh, yeah, I like that one a lot, but I'm excited to see your last roller coaster. And for my last roller coaster, I have an ice theme coaster. All right. And ice theme? Uh, well, wait. Did I build it with dirt? 
guess I might have built it with dirt, but... Oh my gosh, Jordy, was this one supposed to be ice themed and you actually built it with dirt? That's so funny. Yeah, but for the first part, you have to do some parkour to get to the actual roller coaster. Oh my gosh, yeah, okay, I could totally do some parkour. This would be awesome. Here we go. Here goes Dudden. Are you ready, Jordy? I'm so ready. I built this. And, uh, what the heck is that, Jordy? Do you see that all the way over there? I think there's an evil Zoglin. Tor, where the heck is it? Oh my gosh, just run over here. It gets my secret ladder. Quickly climb up and okay. And, uh, oh, I don't know, Jordy. I think it must have gone somewhere else. That's super weird. But, uh, I actually beat your parkour. Uh, okay. I guess I'll just come up then. Yeah, I guess I'm pretty skilled, Jordy. But I'm super excited to check out this roller coaster. Oh, no. Or, uh, oh, I'll be up there any second. Oh my gosh, Jordy, can you not be your own parkour? That's so embarrassing. Well, while you're trying to do that, I guess I'll check out your roller coaster ride. So we'll just hop on right there and we go for it. Whoa! Okay, yeah, this one's super fun and fast. And where we go? And oh my gosh, wow. And I made it. You did. You did it without me, though. Uh, yeah, Jordy, you're being too slow trying to do your parkour, but that one was really short. All right, so what do you rate all my roller coasters? Well, Jordy, your roller coasters were pretty cool, but they were all kind of short, and I feel like a couple of them were trying to kill me, so I think I'll have to rate it maybe a 3 out of 10. A 3 out of 10? That is so bad. Uh, what the heck? Well, Jordy, actually, you know what? I do like your decoration you put on the outside, so I'll give you a 4 out of 10. Okay, that's a lot better, but that's still really bad. But uh, anyways, Jordy, let's go check out my builds. So if you just follow me this way right here, we can turn this corner and those are my builds right there. Oh my gosh, they look so tiny. That's right. That's the whole point of this challenge. Jordy is to build tiny. And oh my gosh, you built four whole different parts. That's right, Jordy. So to get started, what you can do is actually come right here and push this button on the front. And now that we're on the inside, what you need to do is navigate your way through this queue line maze to get to the end. And when you step on that golden pressure plate, it'll take you to the next Next stage. This is a maze? That's right. Or is this even possible? I don't know, Jordy. I guess you'll find out. Uh, what's this doing right here? Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe you could use that to get to the end? Tor, does this count as cheating? Uh, no, Jordy. That's actually exactly what you're supposed to be doing, and, uh, I think you made it. All right, so now you said to just step on the pressure plate? That's right, Jordy. Good job. You made it past my queue line. I did not think you were going to be able to do that. Whoa, oh my gosh. It's not a pig. That's right, Jordy. And we're at the next stage, and this next stage is actually little kid-themed. Oh, do you think I'm a little kid? You're so mean. Uh, only sometimes, Jordy. But anyways, to get started on this roller coaster, what you can do is grab a minecart out of that chest. And uh, why don't you go ahead and put your minecart down and I'll follow right after you, Jordy. All right, let's see if I can do this. And oh my gosh, yeah, this one is so fun. I forgot how fun this one is. Oh my gosh, there was lava too. That was really scary, but actually really cool. And you got to go all the way around the pig. And then it ended in the lava tunnel, which was super scary. But where do we go now? Now, Jordy, to get to the next build, what we can actually do is press this button on the tail right here. And that'll take us to the next stage. And Jordy, for this next stage, it's actually a roller coaster quiz challenge. I love roller coaster quiz challenges. And for the very first question, it's going to be, are you subscribed to Tora? And uh, yeah, are you subscribed to Tora? What's the answer, huh? Well, this one's obvious, Tora. It better be yes. Of What's the answer? Of course I am. Okay, let's see. And is that the right path? Hop on in and All push right. the button. And let's see. And yes, you chose the correct path, Jordy. And now it's time for let's the go. second question, which is, have you liked the video? Wait, but Torrent, the video isn't even out yet, so obviously not. Let's oh see. yeah, I kind of didn't think about that. Ah! And, oh. oh my gosh, Jordy. Yeah, I totally forgot the video isn't even out yet. So ah! you totally ended up in the lava. Oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing, Jordy. You just died in lava. But the people watching this video can like it. And if they don't like the video, they will end up in the lava. So uh, make sure to like the video. Yeah, you definitely don't want to end up like me. That's right. Well, Jordy, I guess because you couldn't have liked the video yet, we could just go down this path right here. All right. And what does this one say? And for this next question, Jordy, it's actually going to be who's more 
more powerful in the Skibbity Toilet universe. All right, either the Cameraman Alliance or the Skibbity Toilet Army? That's right, uh, Jordy. Which of them is more powerful? Well, we fought both of them, so I think it's probably the Cameraman Alliance. Well, Jordy, there's only one way to find out, so go ahead and put your minecart on there, and let's see what happens. And, nope. uh, All goodbye, right. Jordy. Ah! Oh, my gosh. No. And, yeah, Jordy, that was definitely not the correct answer. So, uh, I'll teleport you back here. Let's see if you can get it on the second try. All right, well, I mean, there's only one other option, so it has to be the Skibidi Toilet Army, right? That's right, Jordy. Go ahead and push the button. Oh, no. my gosh. No. Ah! Ah! Jordy, obviously, it's not the Skibidi Toilet Army either because Skibidi Toilet hasn't finished yet. No one's won, so we don't know which is more powerful. You should have known that, Jordy. Well, I thought there was only two options. Uh... Actually the third option is right here above your head. If you push that, that's no answer and that will take us to the next stage. Wow, the heck am I supposed to know that? I don't know, Jordy. I thought you would have been smarter. So let's take the button and this is actually my very last stage which is the super scary fun roller coaster. Uh, and what are we supposed to do? Well, Jordy, just go ahead and grab a minecart from the chest and uh, I'll follow right after you. Alright, let's see if this actually works. And we can push the button. Oh my gosh. And yeah, we're going up. And yes, the minecarts are playing. That sounds so good. Whoa. Wow, that was so fun. And now drop. we're going down into the water level. And okay, yeah, this is super cool being around the water. And we're now at the last stage, which is the fireworks. And look how beautiful this looks. And uh, that was the last part of my roller coaster. And Jordy, what did you think? That was really cool and actually really detailed. So I kind of actually loved it. I think the fireworks were really cool and the music blocks. Thanks, Jordy. And yeah, did that grand finale look awesome with all the pink fireworks? Yeah, that is so epic. Well, Jordy, won't you rate my build? Well, I mean, the fireworks are my favorite colors. So I'm going to have to give you a 9 out of 10. Oh my gosh, 9 out of 10 is so good. Thanks, Jordy. Yeah, of course. That was awesome. Huh? What was that? Oh, the creeper's back. No. Ah! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and hit one of the videos on the screen if you want to see more.